because Don was recent to me. Is it recording? Yeah, it is recording. Okay, why a gallery? Sarah was the, the major influence on the gallery by far. And Sarah would watch me paint. Sarah encouraged me to start doing painting classes. She said, you love presenting, you love talking to people, you love teaching from your engineering, you give presentations. You give um, but I love to sing and so I always imagined that I would be a singer and I, I don't think it was just a childish whim. I, I could sing and I did sing and uh, won several competitions and things like that. Um, so I really wanted to pursue that. Sailors cry, carry the lad that's born to be king over the sea to sky. But that changed one night when, when Ken and I sat down and watched a, a film called Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford and I saw this character step away from, the, from what he was living through was the civil, American Civil War and he became a private person living off the land, living in nature and this idea really appealed to me because my father had once missed a ship in Chicago and had gone to work in Yellowstone Park as a ranger during the winter months. A little bit of teaching, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I wasn't committed to anything. So that phrase just hit me between the eyes, the path of totality. And at the time I was freelancing, I was doing some freelance writing and I sacked my clients overnight and thought, if now, if not now, when? So that was a really significant moment for me. Weekends. But anyway, at the end of it, she more or less offered me a, a, like a voluntary role. And I was only 10 or something, 10 years old. So I used to go on a, on a, on a Sunday morning from about nine to one. My, my dad would drive, drop me off. My mum would be cooking the dinner. Then they'd collect me at about one o'clock and I'd go home and have dinner. But that, and I did that for years and years and years, all voluntary, just on a Sunday. And that really sparked a deeper fascination, I think, for wildlife, because I was there in the middle of an aviary of birds or in the middle with, you know, where there were foxes. We had a three-legged fox. My dad was the gentlest soul ever, and the he's the sweetest, sweetest person ever. He couldn't be strict with us. Uh, the strict, the strictness and discipline was brought about my, by my mother. She's very, very strong. Uh, I think it's because of her that we are also the way we are. And she managed to, in her way, in her time, where things were so hard, managed to get the girls, her girls, out of that environment, which was so punishing, I would say, for girls. Uh, and she fought with us uh, like a tigress at the time. <laughs>